Well, controversy still surrounds last night's debate between Broome County Executive Debbie Preston and her challenger Tarek Abdelazim, as cameras were not allowed to record the candidates. No other debates are currently scheduled between them, leaving plenty of questions. Travis Eldridge reports. The Preston of Delism debate was not only closed to cameras, but also cost between $20 to $30 for tickets, closing off a forum that was expected to be full of information for the public. Today, Greater Binghamton Chamber of Commerce President Lou Santoni said the debate was supposed to be a chance for chamber members to meet the candidates, and they thought cameras may discourage an open dialogue. That was a surprise to Tark of Delism. Uh, when I got there, and saw that they then directed all of you to turn your cameras off, I was shocked. If that was up to me, uh, I, that certainly wouldn't have been the case. Adding to the lack of public debate, it's currently the only scheduled debate between the two county executive candidates, an issue the Democratic challenger blames on Preston. It's clearly this administration is not just extremely busy, it's that she's ducking. She doesn't want to talk about track records of success. She doesn't want to talk about visions. She doesn't want to talk about our future. Last night, Preston responded indirectly to questions about another debate, saying she had a county to run. And those comments were echoed in her campaign manager, B. Joy Dada's response today. His statement reads, Debbie has hit the ground running on day one and has kept up a vigorous schedule every day thereafter. She works 12 to 14 hour days for the people of Broome County. We will continue to give each scheduling request that comes our way the utmost consideration. That isn't enough for several of our viewers who responded to us via Facebook. Like this one from Andrea Barton saying, what is the point of having a debate if most of the voters don't have the opportunity to see it? There are also plenty of others echoing similar points on our Facebook wall, making it pretty clear that there are plenty of voters who want another debate, but this time one that's more open. Travis Eldridge. Fox 40 News.